Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a kind of like an example of a new series that I'm starting. The series is going to be probably called Redesigning Your Logos and the concept behind it is you guys, if you have a company or a brand and you don't think your logo is that good, you can email it to me and then each episode I'll be doing two to three designs just playing around with your logos they are not going to be like for free it's i don't want you guys to take it as you can send me your design and i'm going to rebrand you for free and give you like all the right files it's it's not that of course i i do this as my job and i don't want people to just like make any old text logo and then just send it in thinking i'm going to redesign them a logo for free it's just me playing around with your logo giving you a few tips whether it's changing the color you know changing the typeface it's not I just don't want people to mistake me as saying that I'm rebranding people. Think of it as a as a kind of like a feedback um, critique in your design and kind of telling you how you could possibly make it better. So I thought to like start it off and kind of talk about it, I thought I would do like one example so you guys kind of get the gist a bit more. So one of my good supporters, Zeph Skills, has sent me in his logo to play around with just so I can you guys can have like a taste of what the series is going to be about. So in the middle of the screen here we've got um, Zeph Skills logo who um, has submitted his logo for the just the example episode so we can just play around and you guys can kind of get the idea of what I'm going to be doing if you want to submit your logo. I don't actually think this is a typeface he's used. I'm pretty sure that he has made this out of like rectangles and shapes and this is a this is a custom type that he's made here i really like the layout of it especially how like the e is you know at an angle parallel to the v um the, the there's a gap going through the e and that's kind of the bottom bit of the e is kind of connected to the z like the whole the structure of them three letters is really nice and they flow very very nicely i just feel like your name is zeph skills so maybe we could try and put skills in your logo as well and kind of bring that in. I'm just saying that maybe it'll be best to have your full name there for people to recognise that as you. As I feel like if someone was walking down the street and saw Zeph, they would probably just be like, cool, Zeph, you know. If they saw Zeph skills, they would know that it's Zeph skills. Hopefully I'm making sense. I think the, the first thing that I'll probably do is find a, as we start off, probably find a font that's... That's a lot more thinner, as I feel like your your font is very, very thick. So I found the font, which is, it kind of reminds me of the, the type that you've you've made there. Um, I think it's very similar. It's called Endergravers Gothic. Uh, I think it's, it's quite professional as well. I think how we will start it off is maybe if we, we create the outlines here to the text and then we just ungroup this quick, we can just put the skills to the side. And we can work on this Zeph bit. Right, so we've got the Zeph here. And what I want to do is kind of just make the same kind of layout with his, his got here with his text. Because I really feel how the Z acts as the lower bit of the E is, is really creative. So we can we can just move this over here. Like so. Move them points onto there. We can get a rectangle tool. Put that here we highlight both of them letters now we can go on the straight shape <laughs> shape builder tool and we can get rid of that bit like so i really like how he's got the end of his letters that are angled kind of like parallel to stuff so like how this is like parallel to the v there and then he has this one kind of the same going inwards like so then he has just said over here you know going in parallel to that z angle here I really like the whole format of this logo is actually brilliant right so i've had a play around and this is my take on recreating the zeph bit i've actually the, the top bar in the e i've actually just put straight again and then i've just angled the the middle one just so that it's something different right so we've got the the zeph bit sorted now as i was saying at the beginning i want to find a way how we can incorporate the the skills type into this logo and it still flow very nicely so what I've done is I've made it thicker, just like we've done with the Zeph part. I just feel like this is probably going to be like a subheading or it's going to be laid out in a way where it's probably going to be smaller than the Zeph. So it's kind of going to be like the secondary text. So I feel like a bit thicker is needed as we're going to be making it smaller and we still want it to stand out the same as the Zeph. 
what I'm going to do is I am going to make a rectangle like so then I'm going to move that to the back so I can select the letters and I'm going to move this V across a copy of the V then I'm going to get rid of the V so what that does is that just cuts out the rectangle and makes this line here parallel to the angle of the V and I feel like skills could probably go in this shape here and it will still look professional flow and it will just look great changed it to white and I'm just going to plump that in there I feel like that flows very very well and hopefully if Zeph you're watching you understand what I mean by putting skills in your logo so you know people know that it's you and just not any old Zeph so yeah I think that flows well I think something else as well is I noticed that your brand is just like black and white and your logo is just solid black which is fine I mean I I use black and white in most of my brand as well but I feel like we're just going to play with some colors here so I went online and I found like a turquoisey greeny bluey color here online and I feel like that's a nice color that you could have I do feel like maybe the skills doesn't really stand out well on the turquoise being in white so maybe we could turn that into the the dark gray here because yeah that stands out a hundred times more hopefully you understand what I mean by adding in the skills now in a in a creative way where it's not the same type as the Zeph over here and it's not just all the same size uh, I feel like this the shape behind the skills really really does make the logo stand out as well I think I like the white because I feel like if we have a color some white text and some dark gray text just it's just a nice balance so I want to find a color that works well with a white I'm probably thinking maybe just like a, a, a middle shade blue yeah that's that's a hundred percent better that that stands out nicely on the white let's get this by itself if we can just drag that down like so and just center it i feel like that that's probably all i'm going to play with today as this is just like an example episode um let's quickly grab your old logo so we can compare them so yeah i feel like the format of your your type is very nice so obviously we've kept that in there it's, it's, it's a very creative way of combining your letters together I do feel like maybe you should play around with your type and get more of a thinner font, just something more professional, more more trustworthy. I feel like the, the type that you've got going on now is very like the gaming industry and I feel like if you're trying to sell someone a product that isn't games, they might not trust you as much. It's very sharp and powerful and it, it does come across a bit aggressive. So I think maybe thinning your font down will give you a more professional look and I also definitely believe that you should add in some color into your brand as well as we've got the blue here and also make sure you play around with putting skills in your your logo as well you can obviously have Zeph by itself as well in some assets of your brand like if we was to move this over to the side here and get this like so you don't have to have skills in like every asset of your brand you can also you know have Zeph by itself but I think having it having a variation where it is the full text may help you out so yeah hopefully you guys understood what this series will be about and enjoyed me playing around with the example logo thanks again Zeph for sending in your vector file if you guys want to take part in this series and actually be involved in a proper episode I'll be putting my email down in the description and also probably in the comments as well pinned just submit your logo to via email and you can just put the subject as redesigning your logos. You can also add me on Discord as well. My username is always in the description. And you can send a file that way. I would prefer if you sent me a vectored file. As it's easier for me to play around with on Illustrator. If you only have JPEGs and PNGs. And it, it, it should be fine if your logo is simple. I can just like trace over it. But I would appreciate it if you sent an AI file or just some kind of vector file, whether it's EPS or PDF. So yeah, I'm hoping that you guys will take part and submit your logos. As I said in the beginning, it's, this is not a free way to get a logo from me. You ain't going to be able to receive these files from me, unfortunately. As I don't want to just feel like this series is me just doing your logos for free and for nothing as I designed to pay my bills. It's just me playing around and giving you some feedback maybe you can take on board and add into your brand so yeah thank you there also is a letter c tutorial coming out within the next two weeks it'll be out it's it's in process where um i'll be showing you a tutorial on how to make a letter c logo from the previous video that i put out 
designing the three letters to use. My girlfriend has picked her her best one. So there is there is a design already that I'm doing. And that's in the process of being made. So that'll be up soon as well. So definitely look out for that if you're into watching tutorials. And yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, let me know. If you think the series is a good idea, definitely, definitely let me know. And if you feel like it, there's not really any point doing and I should just focus on my other stuff, then yeah, every single opinion is appreciated. See you later.